Yeah, and I got some Okay, it's 2020, uh, January the 18th, uh, Saturday. It's about going on to quarter past nine on my watch. We are at Sosfeld in the rain, and this is where we've parked at the main campus building. And there's just three of us today, and we're going that way towards the Grunewede um, hiking trail and we're gonna find out whether it's hikeable we've had some good rain um, the river might be running too strong for us to pass but we'll see when we get there okay we're approaching the trailhead now here's a little um, putting green Mijn moeder had op ons in wilderness. Een vijftien, ja. Maar ik zal Willem wel laten, want als hij niet van ogen kan laten, dan is hij hier niet, dan zal hij moeder laten. Hier is er iets jij al groene bij de gestap. Hij is niet moeilijk. Ja. 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 Ik weet niet, ik denk niet hier in een... Ik wil eigenlijk met mijn maar ook op mijn kop doen. Wel, als jij... Als jij bij die hek uitrui... Ja. En jij rui af in die vallei en naar die rivier toe... Dan is daar een grondpad. Groenkoproud. Ja. Wat hier onder uitkom. Nee, dit was niet op hierdie kant. Maar ik zie het wel zien. Ik denk die ingang was meer daar kan te gebeur. Toen maar aan die begin. Ja, oké. Nee, ik ken nie dat pad nie. Maar as ek gesê, dit is baie hard terug, so daar kan ek my... Gewoonlik het ek een goeie geheer. Ja, ja. Gewoonlik. Misschien moet ons enig die ding gaan toets. Ja. Ons gaan kyk waar die pad loop. Maar, hier is drie routes. There are three routes. There's the red route. Um, which is supposed to be a maximum of five and a half hours. And then there's a blue route. Eleven kilometers, four and a half. And green route, nine kilometers and four hours. Um, all three of them start over here and then you go along and you cross the river and that's where I'm not sure whether we'll be able to cross the river with all the rain the river might be running too strong and then we'll have to turn back around that'll be a short hike and then we'll do something else um, and then it carries on and there's a fork in the road uh, yeah it's split in the road a fork in the road uh, where the end of the path comes in and where you carry on past and you go all the way to the top and at the big yellowwood tree, there's a, let me just get this, at the big yellowwood tree, the green root splits off and it comes down and goes back home. Um, the blue and the red carries on. And then the blue splits off at that 4.6 kilometer mark. And it joins up with the green on the Groenkorp road and it comes back down to this 4.5 kilometer to the finish mark and carries on there and the red goes all the way around there's a swimming spot over there at the silver river and Elan Pat coming back down and then it comes up from the bottom and it joins up with green and blue and goes back to the beginning um, okay so what do you guys feel like do you want to go all the way around 13 kilometers yeah, okay, yeah, if great. We can, if the rivers and the stuff allows that, it's not even rain. Yeah, if we if we can just get past this first river, yeah, then we yeah. should be fine. Then we can yeah. do the whole thing. As long as we <coughs> can get across and it's not above shorts level. Yeah, we'll so see how it goes. Soaked and yeah. Yeah. Okay, it here goes. <laughs> okay. On the trail, do you want to me to grab on your pack or grab the stick? Like I think it'll be easier if you grab my pack. Okay. Um, we've tried the stick before and I don't think it worked all that well. Yeah, not on all, it depends on the terrain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, as a black bird, I say yeah. Oh, yeah? Um, this is actually right, the Yeah, yeah, that's what I come in like from. Oh, um, oh. Oh, how did you think? Sorry, I was meant to I was, explain. I was thinking about, okay, there's a tree across the way, a branch across the way, step out to the left. Okay, come okay, round. okay, I'm watching. I'm more now thinking <coughs> of the camera, not too bumpers. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> I was thinking when we did the George Peak um, 
and you hooked your stick into my backpack. Oh yeah, yeah, and then it keeps hooking out. Yeah, that, was, that, that was didn't that work George too well. Peak? No, it was another one. It was later where. Oh no, but I've done that with Hester on the that easy that wooden deck trail. Oh yes. Um, sometimes it slides out, but if you if you want, you can hold it in one hand. Oh okay. And then I extended that. Um, but it's fine. I can also hang on to the. Yeah, sure, no problem. Yeah, if I need the stick because it's quite slippery, so I might if we're going down. Yeah. But most of this route I recall is fairly easy. Yeah, it is. I might find it's easier now that I've walked a bit because that was my first real walk with you. Yes, it was the first one. Besides that little test walk on the wooden deck. Yeah, state. but that was just a, yeah. an intro. But we've got to be careful. It might seem easy, but it will be slippery. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, it's about going on to half past nine. I've been walking for about 15 minutes and uh, not rushing it. Just taking a nice stroll. And we're coming up to our um, markers, next set of markers here. Red, blue and green roots on the tree, marked on the tree bark there. Um, and ducking under. Okay, there we go. And I can hear the river running down there already. Nice. Usually when, you, when you're hiking, you'd, you'd up here you don't hear the river running but it's to our right down into the valley it sounds like it's roaring it's about 25 to 10 there's another marker with some distances 12 and 10 and 8 kilometers um, you can hear the river on the right hand side it's rushing um, I'm not too sure about those distance markers, those distance indications. Um, there are other places along the route where they indicate certain distances which can absolutely not be correct. Um, so yeah, don't, don't put too much stock in that, those distance indications. I can see the river through the trees down there. I'm not sure whether it'll show on the, on the video. But the river is about, I'd say, 20, 30 meters away from us. Yeah, it sounds like it. And it's, it's running fairly strong. It's not white water as such, ah, it's but it's running fairly strong. Yeah, you can, yeah, it's actually rushing through the rocks and see if we can get it closer. But it's broad. Oh. It, it's, 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 Stretching from the one side to the other side. Last time, it was a you had a little stream in the yeah. middle of it, but now it's really rushing. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's stretching from from right here where you start going across until Yo. all the way to the other I side. I think it's going to be pretty deep. It might be. <laughs> yeah, but if it's that strong, it's Okay, some rocks here. It might be slippery. I'm <laughs> sorry. Oops. Very slippery. That's why I want to get proper trail shoes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll be more careful. There we go. Okay, it levels out. Let's see oh, how no, this goes. Okay. And there's water right up to Yo. the edge. Yo. Uh, okay, let's. I think it's too strong to cross. Yeah, it sounds like it's quite strong. It's really pumping. Is there a good view, yeah? Uh, a better view. I put some blue first. A better view over here. Okay. If you turn that way, that's perfect, okay. yeah. Sure. That's that's the best view you're going to get of the river at the moment. Um, you're stepping into the water there. Shows you the water's right yeah. up here. Last time it was like quite a way. Yeah. 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 Oh, we got good rain. No, it's rain quite strong. Yeah. Okay, no, I don't. I don't think this is accessible. No, mm -hmm. I think yeah. Unless you really want to swim, but it's all our feet. No, no. Uh, uh, this is this is the Cayman's River. This is Cayman's River. That's oh. right. Yeah, I'm so we're so thankful for this rain. Oh.
Okay, it's about half past ten. Um, we're at the further student accommodations. That's where we've parked. And um, we're going to follow this trail down to the weir. Um, it's a downhill. And uh, just to see what it looks like there, there might be some white water rushing over the wall. Um, I expect with the big rains we've had now, we might get some some big water there. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I almost <laughs> guided you. I almost guided you into the sea, into a pond. There's a there's a puddle across the way. That's like a big puddle. Okay, it's about uh, 22.11, uh, we ran into some baboons, we didn't want to go that way. So, coming up the road, there's a turn off to the left, this is the first turn off to the left, we don't want to go that way. Um, our plan is to go to the Pepsi pools now. And I can hear the baboons shouting in the background. We're going up ahead and then there's another turn off to the left. Uh, going to the Pepsi pools. Okay. This is just uh, five minutes down the road. It's going on to just past 22.11 on my watch. Um, the road to the right is going up to Tirkop. And the road to the left, I believe, goes to Pepsi pool. So, I'm going to grab onto the back of my bag again. There we go. Right, and try to lead you ah, through the... The driest bits among amid all the mud here. The secret cave, yes. And uh, where you crawl um, under a very narrow ledge or something. Yes, that, that's right. Do fine. Yes, you'll be fine with that. Here's a Pepsi Pool sign on the left hand side of the road. Yeah, and yeah. just grab onto the back of my bag again. Oh, you're going through puddles. Yes, puddles again. Uh, going on to quarter to 11, five minutes down the road again. Here's another fork in the road to the right. I'm not exactly sure where that goes, but I believe Pepsi Pool should be straight ahead on the left-hand side here. The sign says quarry. I've heard of the quarry. They were doing, we ran there once and they were doing excavations there as I just well. Wanna, oops, sorry. Oops. Just want to... Get that quickly. Here's the quarry sign. It's clunk up so much. Yeah, sorry, you're a bit clunk about this. Stepping in some mud. Yeah. All right. It feels very easy. <laughs> yeah, I believe the quarry should be on our left-hand side now, um, shortly, and then past that, just a little bit up the road. Then we're going to turn to our left down into the river valley to the Pepsi pools. Still quarter to 11, um, another split in the road up ahead. Um, the, the path to the left hand side goes around the Garden Brew Dam. Um, going around to the right hand, it goes back towards the Garden Brew Dam wall, the path on the left. The path on the right carries on around the Garden Brew Dam, past this quarry coming up I believe. Um, Still here at the at the quarry split. The quarry actually turned out to be on our left hand side. Don't know if you can see it on the video. I'll try to zoom in later. Um, so we're going past the quarry here, downhill still. And here's a sign that's fallen over. It says Pepsi Pools Ronald looks like. Written in green pen above it. Ronald Pepsi Pools. So let's try to make this stand again <laughs> free commentary um 
Where? Point again? Hola. Or is it uh, turn that way. Okay. There we go. Uh, okay. I'm not taping now, but yeah. Yeah. No, I'm still taping. Ah, uh, okay. It's about 10 to 11, and we have discovered a frog. Look at that huge frog. Shame on the There it, oh, there it goes, there it goes. Where is it? There it goes. Look at Hiding under a rock. There it is. There it goes. Uh, going on to just past five past five to eleven. And between the trees there is a quite a I don't know whether that's river or part of the Garden Root Dam. This might be Garden Root Dam. The water seems to be flowing from our left to the right and there's a lot of white foam floating on top. Probably with the water coming down the mountains, um, rushing over the rocks, as the water sort of runs very quickly it starts froth frothing and um, that's where the foam comes from. There's a little stream running underneath the road and then joining this bigger river dam thing. Just past 11 o'clock we've just spotted the Meisner Lurries. Um, and here's a split to the left. This is not the Pepsi Pool split. Pepsi Pool split is a little bit further on as far as I know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm there and there and there. I still feel it a bit from the front, a little bit. Okay, it's uh, just past five past eleven on my watch, and uh, um, I've decided to take out the rain, the, the umbrella. <laughs> the road splits to the right <laughs> and uh, to the left, and there's a sign in the bushes over here with a blue arrow and a Pepsi logo, clearly indicating. Uh, the Pepsi pools to our left. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Willem had me also said, so is Pepsi more brain? Yeah. Is Coke is more swart or is Coke more brain? Yeah. Brain. The hang up from who did you drink? As you a big glass had, with a a wide diameter had, a wide diameter had, then is the concentration of the Coke swart. Maar als jij dan, als je als je een strookje opzijgt, wat het dan duurt niet, dan lijkt hij meer bruin. Dan maak hij wat ze verschil. Dat dat hangt af hoeveel lucht dat kan duurt kan. Ja, ja. Dat is lekker op Clarin. Wat? Wat? Daarna boer. Boer? Daar boer ja, daar is bij een grootste in die kransen. Boer, maar is het ver? Ja, dat is eentje. Boer, boer, oké. Nee, dat is dat is een goede eentje. Ik zit een beetje bang in die nacht. Ja, ja. Ja. Ik ga niet lekker grip krijgen. Ik kan hier de Pepsi pools aan de linkerkant zien, hè? Can you see it? Not yet. Okay. No, but it's rushing, hey. It's Yo, it's it's, it's coming down hard. I see LP crowns are the Yeah. Yeah. Can you also grab this with a bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a yeah, it's just about 20 past 11 and we've spent about five minutes just standing at the spot and chatting. You can grab on if you want. All right. And there's a sign that says dangerous currents, gevaarlijke strome. So you can swim, but be aware of what you're getting yourself into. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Okay, fairly steepish downhill, careful not to slip, yep. short little steps. Yes, okay. Yeah, she's fine. Whoops, almost slipped. Oh, and I can't uh, catch you. Yeah, you can't catch me. 
So stick to your left hand side. Okay, cool. And then it's a little bit easier. Yeah. Right, down. All good. Cool. Right in front of the way. Right. Then there's a tree stump. Oh, yeah. Right across. I can walk underneath without ducking. I'm anyway tucking in behind you. Yeah. And then stepping off here. Yeah. Let's see how this goes. Hester's unpacking a picnic. Oh, yay. Oh, she found the spot. Yeah. While we watch a tree. Yeah. And step down. Okay. Oh. All good. Yeah. All right. As long as you don't step, then you're fine. Yeah. Have you had a bit of a fall? Yes, I have a fall. Okay. I have a fall, but I have a fall. I have a fall, but I have a fall. Yeah. But I have a fall. Yeah. I have a fall. Yeah. I have a fall. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. You can there's a there's a spot for you to sit here if you want to drop your bag. Okay. Well, let me take that off, I'll give it. Yeah, I'll take your bag. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sure, no problem. Yeah, it's okay. And there's a yeah, are, are we here or yeah, not too much? Are there this is this is this is comfortable where we are at the okay. moment. Okay. Um Usually, so this is Pepsi Pools itself. This is the Pepsi Pool. They were one of the bits of Pepsi Pool. Okay. There's a there's a cement wall running across the way, oh, right. which is now overrun by the water. The water runs over it. Okay. Usually, you can cross the river at this point. I have been on that. I've walked on that wall. Yeah. Yeah. But the water is running too fast now. I'm not going to try to cross the river to the oh, other side. Right. Yeah, that's where it drops off. Yeah, quite a lot. Yeah. Yo, but it's slow. Yeah. Okay. I'm going back up the hill again. Okay. There's a there's another little spot that I want to video quickly. Okay. So I'll be back. I'll sit with Hester. Yeah. I'm sorry, can I get this one? Oh, that's it. Look at that. Okay, let's climb over this big old tree stump here without getting snagged too much. Oops, a little bit tricky. And here's another one. Step over, don't get snagged. And there we go. Yo. That's big water there. Well, for this part of town at least. Try not to get snagged on these tree roots here. And then not slipping. Whoops. So, we can step up here. And it looks like it goes to the top. Lovely lit running down. Oop. Yeah, it's quite slippery here. Quite slippery. Let's see how far this goes. Here's a little toilet cave, looks like. Some water running at the back.
Looks like you could carry on up the hill here, but there's a clearer path towards the river over here, onto the rocks. And this can be tricky and slippery. Slippery when wet. Watch your footing. Right. And there we go. Pepsi pulls. I'm not going to try to be too acrobatic here today. Looks like you can step across. Climb over here. There we go. And here's the Pepsi. It's thundering. Hester and Carl might be. Let's see if I can point it out. Over there somewhere. Looks like they're making a Pepsi float at the top. All that foam churning around. I don't want to step too far out. All right. Let's do this. Yep, I suppose you could go higher up, but I'm not going to risk it. These rocks are quite wet and slippery. So yeah, there you have it. These are the Pepsi pools. They're through the trees. That's the waterfall coming down. I'll try to zoom in on them in the post video editing. And that's a lot of water there. The rain is also coming down a little bit more heavily now. Okay, it's about 20 past 11 and I think we're having a, a flood of some kind. I don't know if you can see it through the trees, but it's really coming down now. Water level has risen significantly. Easily 20 centimeters where we where I'm standing at the moment, a 20 centimeter rise previous, from, from the previous level. And I can almost not see the other end of the concrete wall running across the river to the other side. Just a, a tiny little bit sticking out. Previously there was a lot, quite a bit more sticking out. So it's really picked up in, in a matter of minutes. Yeah. They're through the trees. That's the waterfall coming down. I'll try to zoom in on them in the post video editing. And that's a lot of water there. I don't know if you can see it through the trees, but it's really coming down now.
Um, it's about 25 past one. We've had a nice long picnic and a good chat down at the Pepsi pools. And we felt that we're not quite ready to go home yet. So <laughs> we're going to take the rest no, of the way um, up the hill. We'll see where it goes. Not quite sure where this road goes. I can't remember ever having walked here yet. So that's the way we've come. And we'll see where it leads us. Okay, it's half past one. It's literally just five minutes down the road again. Yeah. And uh, we've stopped and talked a bit. And there's a little path that goes off up against the hill. I think I've been there before and it doesn't really go anywhere. So we're going to go around the bend. And that'll probably take us back to Sarsfeld somehow. Um, it's about 20 to 2. Uh, there's another turn off to the left off the road. It looks like um, it might have been a road at one stage, but there are a whole lot of logs uh, lying across it. So I don't know. But that's the way ahead. Okay. Um, here's a transition into the forest. It's a nice little bend in the road. Um, it's about quarter to two. Vietnam. Yeah, there's the water running out. Yeah, it's about going on to two o'clock. There's a turn off to the right. We're not going to take that. We're going to carry on with the dirt road. See where it goes. Okay, it's about two o'clock. Um, we're coming out on this quarry road again. Here's the quarry sign that we seen previously and heading back to where we've parked now.